See the cushion still out. Cushion still perfectly out, no problem. That should be good. This is, this would allow for our our wires to travel through perfectly and still have a good amount of seal. Your headlight shouldn't get wet on the inside at all. It's going to have a pretty tight seal. Um, once again, that's the cut area. If you want to take a good look at it, there we go. Right there. Too very simple. The seal's still there. We're still fine. Everything's good. Wires are pretty small. The the passenger side one's going to be a little bit bigger because we have two extra wires coming out of there. The the driver side should be just two wires, and that's the two cables for the for the bulb, and that's it. Okay. Come back to the engine bay. Right here, we pulled out the bulb. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove this. There's two clips that. You push back over there, one on each side. Make sure you don't pull them too hard. They're very, very, very fragile. They'll break, and uh, there's really no replacing them if you break it. So just make sure it's very easy to take off. I usually take it off with my nails. Uh, it's very simple. You shouldn't have a problem. Once you take it off, and then uh, we'll install the bulb, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, here's the bulb. Uh, you don't want to touch the glass of the bulb, but there'll be some glo uh, latex gloves included in the kit. I'm just not using them because I don't need them. Uh, this will allow you to um, hold the, if you want to touch the glass part of the bulb, you can touch the glass part of the bulb. Some people find it easier to use the glass part, especially the, the E90 and the E, I'm sorry, the E90 and the E92 M3s and the uh, E92 335s and 328s. You're going to probably have to touch the glass a little bit to get it in there, but on the 135s there's plenty of room, no problem. Um, these are not like other bulbs. The other kits, the aftermarket ones, are pretty hard to fit in. These go right in. Come over here. The the larger part of the three prongs right here, the three little clips, comes on top. And then once you get it into place, you just uh, come over here, fit it in, push it in. I'm going to push it so it goes in, gets a nice tight seal. Turn it clockwise and it locks in. It's pretty simple. You saw that. It took us about a few seconds. Probably a little bit easier than the GP Thunders to install the bulbs. Okay, here's a factory harness from the, um, not, not these two over here, those are the bulb harness. This is the factory harness from the factory right here that plugs into the bulb. As you can see, there's a, um, there's a brown and a black and also a purple wire. The brown and the black go into one spot and then the, uh, the purple goes into its own spot. The purple is going to be the positive, the brown and the black are the negative. So what we're going to want to do is we take the positive side, the red, on the aftermarket harness that's going to plug in and we're going to line it up with the purple one. And just clip it in. Simple as that. Okay, as you can see the purple wire right over here comes straight and lines up with the red wire right over there. Black wire on this side comes straight, lines up with the brown. This way you know that you're getting it correct. Okay, here we go. We connect to the wire right here. We're going to go ahead and tuck everything. A little bit of a area right next to the HID bulb where you can tuck some of the wires in. You can just tuck it in a little bit over here. Put a little bit and then uh, tuck the factory wire right there and then you're gonna take the other wire you're gonna run it under this little toggle over here this little toggle metal and once again this piping always gets in the way you're gonna run it under there and then run the HID cables through that same little thing pull them out make sure you tuck everything right into there right into that area right there and then from there we're gonna go ahead make sure the wires line up with that cut over there and then that's it put the oh also there's two little two little prongs on the bottom over here there's little holes down there. I don't know if you can see it over here in the video. Uh, but there are two holes that you have to first clip in. And then you can push, put the uh, put the cap back on. It's pretty much it. Make sure you put it into those two. I don't know if you can see it in here. 
you can, you can see one of them under that wire over there. Let's see if you can see the second one. Uh, yeah, you kind of see the second one under there on that little motor. Uh, they should be right over there. Just clip them in first before before you decide to. Okay, we got this side in. Looks like it's uh, super tight. Closed it. Very, 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 very good seal. Wires are coming out. Now we're gonna move on to the other side. Going over here, we're gonna draw the wire nice and tight through here, over here. So you know, you get the idea. Shouldn't be that hard. Then we're gonna come into here. It's gonna be this the factory, this the factory harness over here. And uh, all we're gonna do is it's gonna have a little bit of a little tiny connector that you're just gonna plug into it right here, and you just stuff it into the headlight. This side's very simple. Same thing as the other side. We cut the small end of the cover. That would be this side right here. Gave it a little cut on both sides, as you can see in the earlier video. And then uh, just run these two wires right here out the side and put your ballast somewhere wherever you like to put it uh, I'll show you where I put it in a few minutes and then um, that's it the sides very fair very simple